Hello, how are you? The name of this presentation is Performance and Reinforcement of Communicative Competence in Virtual Environments in Chilean University Professors. And the authors are Jorge Acevedo Espinosa, Alicia García Olgado, and Juan José Mena. This presentation reports the progress of the research being carried out in the doctoral program Education in the Knowledge Society at the University of Salamanca regarding the new teaching processes developed from the use of virtual environments by university professors in Chile, my country. We are focusing on the performance and subsequent reinforcement of the communicative competence in professors regarding to the sudden change that occurred in 2020 as a consequence of COVID and its future perspectives in education. To approach this, we will start from the study of the perception of teachers from various Chilean higher education institutions regarding the conceptualization and application of this competence, gathering information through a semi-structured interview. Later, a survey will be created and applied in the faculty investigated previously. These items will comprehend the professor's report and the elements already present within the study of communicative competence in the digital competency frameworks. Finally, a plan will be elaborated to develop those communication skills to complement teaching in virtual environments. Although online teaching has been a developing field for several years in Chile, this situation has mainly happened at the school level or in specific university and careers, especially those related to technology or education. It is logical then to ask what happens to university professors who have no training in education or technology as soon as they have had to adapt their classrooms to a new scenario that derived from the COVID-19 pandemic. As we know, teaching had to migrate from physical to virtual spaces, having to deal and resolve obstacles such as low connectivity, lack of line content, and virtual teacher training very quickly. In the case of Latin America, the UNESCO report pre uh, presents that 23.4 million students and 1.4 million teachers were affected by the temporary closure of universities in the region in 2020, a process that began in Chile on March 16 of that year. The situation related with the COVID generated even more interest in e-learning, in but changed the previous rhythm of work, leaving the universities the responsibility to generate different strategies according to the response capacity capacity. Of course, the gaps in terms of access, use and skills, overall professional skills, are generating new challenges that affect the process and the results of the, of the educational activity. By concentrating on a context where learning suddenly migrated to virtual environments, modifying the communicative aspect, our research questions emerge. The first one how is the level of performance of communicative competence in virtual environments perceived by university professors in Chile? And the second one, how can these communication skills can be strengthened in virtual environments based on the professor's perception and the existing measurement instruments in the digital competency frameworks? This implies recognizing how from the differential and often informal levels of acquisition of digital competence, teachers have had to translate their communication skills in aspects such as cluster scores, persuasive contact, the management of a student's interaction, and other elements not necessarily considered in previous study of non-frontal lesson practices. As we mentioned, the communicative competence is the main focus of this research. This concept helps to comprehend the context in which the educational process takes place, referring not only to the ability to know the speech usage rules, but also the sociocultural and pragmatic aspects involved in it. This concept of community competence does not necessarily have an origin close to digital and virtual environments. Maybe for that reason, there are different ways in which it's mentioned and approached within the digital competency frameworks, either as a dimension, category, or implicit within other aspects. The question of how these implicit and historically anchored aspects to the physical context have had to be translated into new context is what encourages this research. In addition, 
this this study will seek to establish a link between the teaching experience in virtual environments and the review of the role of this communicative competence within digital competence frameworks and media literacy plans in order to see what elements can be proposed to achieve a more effective and comprehensive process in students.